I want to talk about something that may be happening to you. Now with me every day or yes almost every day or every day negative thoughts come to my mind every single day and the same thing may be happening to you as well. So we have to understand that it is demons that are placing negative thoughts in your mind whether it be someone doing something wrong to you or anything else so this one day many bad things were coming to my mind so I started to feel sad and mad a little bit depressed and stuff like that so I was feeling this way for maybe a few minutes. Then I said to myself, hold on. This is demons trying to play with my emotions. Demonic manipulation. So what I did, I said, demons no. When I said that, I felt like that demon was trying to communicate back with me as if it was showing its anger, as if it was like, hey, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm serious. So from the outside, I don't know how to describe it, but from the outside, I felt a lot of wind or some wind and I could sense that it was really, really angry with me. And when I said no, what happened, the demonic thoughts increased like in more, in a more aggressive way, in a much more aggressive way, like very crazily. So, what did I do? Yes, and you may be asking, well, when negative thoughts come to your mind or when so much bad thoughts come to your mind, what can you do? Well, first you have to repent of your sins first. All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. When you say that, you are saved now you are a servant of God. Give me a second. So now you are a servant of God. So when you are a servant of God, now you have authority over demons. So from there, all you have to say is demons, I bind and cast you out right now. And when you say that, let me see. When you say that, demons have to obey you. So when I told the demon or demons no, they get very mad and they increased those negative thoughts. So like I said, I told the demons to leave and after a while, the negative thoughts left. So what I am trying to say, you don't have to allow demons to manipulate your feelings. You don't have to. You don't have to allow them to play around with you. Yes, bad things may have happened to you in your life. Of course, bad things, has, bad things have happened to all of us, everyone. So shall we all pout, be depressed, go to our room and stay in there and stuff like that? No, you don't have to allow negative thoughts to consume you because you have to understand that it is demons that are doing it. You see, the reason why people act the way that they act or backstab you or treat you wrongly, you have to understand that it is demons. Then what demons do, 
they get in that person and treat you wrongly, then they come to you and make you feel really bad about what happened and keep replaying it over and over and over again so much more demons can enter you and build more psychological issues. It is all a trap. So humans, per se, are not your problem. It is demons. So many people see humans like, hey, if this person here, if this person didn't do this to me, I would be like this. Or if that person there was not there or whatever, things would not have turned out wrong. But in fact, if all demons were gone, I'm telling you, this world would be a better place. But we only focus on the things that we can see, but we don't focus on the things that, that we can't see. And you may say, well, how can I focus on the things that I can't see? Because I can't see it. Well, this is the reason why you need to read the Bible. The Bible is going to tell you about the things that you can't see on how you should live your life. Stop focusing on the things that you can see because what you can see is not the problem. What you can't see is the problem. Well, that doesn't make any sense, Kevin. Well, this is why you need to read the Bible. Because you are fighting the things. When you fight the things that you can see, you are just wasting your time. How can I say this? Okay, let's say that you have a tumor in your head and from this tumor you are getting you are getting headaches and stuff like that if you are only taking aspirin you are just fighting the symptoms so you can take aspirin all day long but that is not going to take care of that what you have to do is somehow I don't know how it works, but get that tumor out of your head. Taking aspirin alone is not going to help you because you are fighting not the cause, but the symptoms. And the symptoms, when you fight the symptoms alone, you are not going to cure the problem. So when you fight humans or the things that you are able to see, you are not resolving the issue. What is happening supernaturally? So to get back to my main point, it is demons that are making you feel the way that you feel. It is demons. So stop hating your uncle Stop hating your cousin. Stop hating your mom, dad, brother, so on and so on. Dislike the demons. I don't think it is a sin to dislike demons. I don't think so. But it is demons that are placing negative thoughts in your mind and replaying those thoughts in your mind. So take them out. Tell them to leave. Demons leave. Repent of your sins. God, please forgive me of all my sins. Then order the demons to leave. Demons go now. That's all you have to say. And continue to say that for as long as you have to. Each time it comes to your mind, continue to tell them to leave. Like I said before, or if I said this, Negative thoughts or demons place negative thoughts in my mind so many times each day. So I continue to tell them to leave each time. I never stop telling them to leave. So it is a non-ending process. So if you believe that the demons are going to stay gone 
when you say demons leave maybe 10 times, you are sorely mistaken. You have to continue to tell them to leave each and every day, many times a day. Well, you know, I don't want to do that so many times a day because, you know, blah, 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 blah. You do what you have to do. <laughs> do whatever you have to do. Because demons are going to be with us until the end of time. Then once we die, well, if we go to heaven, then we don't have to deal with demons anymore. But while you are on this earth, or if you go to hell, then you have to deal with demons. So there is no point in whining and complaining. No point. Why? because you can't do anything about it unless you fight back. Yes. You can tell them to leave when they come. Anything bad, you have to know that it is demons. Anything bad. So you can't say, well, it is just a coincidence. There is no such thing as a coincidence. No such thing. Everything bad, usually it is a demon behind it, unless you are being cursed by God, but usually it is a demon behind it. Anything good comes from God. So anything that is making you sad, depressed, unhappy, so on and so on, usually it is a demon, unless you are being cursed by God. And even with that, that is a demon behind that. So, really take heed to this. Stop being manipulated by demons, like I used to. And sometimes I have to catch myself now because bad things may come to my mind and I'm like, oh, that person really did me wrong, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? Why am I thinking about this? So what? The past is the past. And even if it is happening now, so what? God is going to take care of it. Stop reliving your past. Everyone has gone through something traumatizing. Everyone has. If I were to tell you everything that I've been through, you would really be shocked. <laughs> You're like, what? You went through all of that? Yes. Very shocking stuff. But hey, you live and you move on. You know, or what you can do is stay in your room and be like, oh, you know, I'm just going to stay here and no one else is going to hurt me. No. Stop doing that. That is not the right way. So really take heed to this. God bless.